Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Philippians 4 verse 19 And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Psalm 37 verse 4 Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Proverbs 16 verse 3 Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. Psalm 20 verse 4 May he give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. Matthew 6 verse 33 But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Ephesians 3 verse 20 Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Psalm 23 verse 1 the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Psalm 34 verse 10 The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Isaiah 55 verse 2 Why spend money on what is not bread, and your labor on what does not satisfy? Listen, listen to me, and eat what is good, and you will delight in the richest of fare. James 1 verse 17 Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. Matthew 5 verse 6 Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Psalm 16 verse 11 You make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Psalm 90 verse 14 Satisfy us in the morning with your unfailing love, that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days. Proverbs 19 verse 21 Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. John 6 verse 35 Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. Psalm 84 verse 11 For the Lord God is a sun and shield, the Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. Psalm 37 verse 5 Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will do this. Psalm 145 verse 19 He fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9 However, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived the things God has prepared for those who love him. Isaiah 58 verse 11 The Lord will guide you always. 
He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. Proverbs 13 verse 12 Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. Matthew 7 verses 7 to 8 Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Psalm 34 verse 8 Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Psalm 36 verse 8 They feast on the abundance of your house. You give them drink from your river of delights. Isaiah 26 verse 3 You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast, because they trust in you. John 10 verse 10 The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life, and have it to the full. Psalm 81 verse 10 I am the Lord your God, who brought you up out of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. Psalm 145 verse 16 You open your hand and satisfy the desires of every living thing. Jeremiah 31 verse 25 I will refresh the weary and satisfy the faint. Isaiah 58 verse 14 Then you will find your joy in the Lord and I will cause you to ride in triumph on the heights of the land and to feast on the inheritance of your father Jacob. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Psalm 9 verse 10 Those who know your name trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Psalm 107 verse 9 for he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Matthew 6 verses 25 to 26 Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Psalm 36 verse 7 how priceless is your unfailing love, O God! People take refuge in the shadow of your wings. Isaiah 61 verse 7 Instead of your shame you will receive a double portion, and instead of disgrace you will rejoice in your inheritance. And so you will inherit a double portion in your land, and everlasting joy will be yours. Romans 15 verse 13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Psalm 145 verse 15 The eyes of all look to you, and you give them their food at the proper time. Psalm 34 verse 9 Fear the Lord, you his holy people, for those who fear him lack nothing. Psalm 132 verse 15 I will bless her with abundant provisions. Her poor I will satisfy with food. 1 Timothy 6 verse 17 Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant nor to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain but to put their hope in God, 
who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Psalm 107 verses 8 to 9. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind, for he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with good things. Isaiah 9 verse 7. Of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Romans 8 verse 32 He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? John 15 verse 7 If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. Isaiah 44 verse 3 For I will pour water on the thirsty land, and streams on the dry ground. I will pour out my spirit on your offspring, and my blessing on your descendants. Isaiah 58 verse 10 and if you spend yourselves in behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness, and your night will become like the noonday. Psalm 37 verse 19 In times of disaster they will not wither, in days of famine they will enjoy plenty. Proverbs 11 verses 24 to 25 one person gives freely, yet gains even more. Another withholds unduly, but comes to poverty. A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. Psalm 22 verse 26. The poor will eat and be satisfied. Those who seek the Lord will praise him. May your hearts live forever. Isaiah 65 verse 24 Before they call I will answer, while they are still speaking I will hear. Psalm 132 verses 13 to 15 For the Lord has chosen Zion, he has desired it for his dwelling, saying, This is my resting place forever and ever. Here I will sit enthroned, for I have desired it. I will bless her with abundant provisions. Her poor I will satisfy with food. Matthew 6 verse 11 Give us today our daily bread. Psalm 132 verse 16 I will clothe her priests with salvation, and her faithful people will ever sing for joy. Proverbs 10 verse 3 the Lord does not let the righteous go hungry, but he thwarts the craving of the wicked. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8 And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 7 Therefore you do not lack any spiritual gift as you eagerly wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. 2 Peter 1 verse 3 His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 Do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Romans 12 verse 2 Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is his good, pleasing and perfect will. 
2 Corinthians 12 verse 9. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Psalm 145 verse 14. The Lord upholds all who fall and lifts up all who are bowed down. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 11. You will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion, and through us your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. Philippians 1 verse 6. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Isaiah 32 verse 17. The fruit of that righteousness will be peace. Its effect will be quietness and confidence forever. Psalm 90 verse 17. May the favor of the Lord our God rest on us. Establish the work of our hands for us, yes. Establish the work of our hands. Isaiah 33, verse 6. He will be the sure foundation for your times, a rich store of salvation and wisdom and knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the key to this treasure. 1 Peter 5, verse 10. And the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. Psalm 145 verse 18. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20. For no matter how many promises God has made, they are yes in Christ. And so through him the amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. Psalm 145 verse 17. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and faithful in all he does. Matthew 6 verses 19 to 21. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Proverbs 15 verse 16. Better a little with the fear of the Lord than great wealth with turmoil. Psalm 146 verses 5 to 7. Blessed are those whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God. He is the maker of heaven and earth, the sea, and everything in them he remains faithful forever. He upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets prisoners free. 1 Timothy 6 verse 6 But godliness with contentment is great gain. Matthew 19 verse 26 Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Hebrews 6 verse 10 God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help them. Luke 12 verse 32 Do not be afraid, little flock, for your father has been pleased to give you the kingdom. Romans 8 verse 28 and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Proverbs 30 verses 8 to 9. Keep falsehood and lies far from me. Give me either poverty nor riches, but give me only my daily bread. Otherwise, I may have too much and disown you and say, Who is the Lord? 
or I may become poor and steal, and so dishonor the name of my God. Psalm 145 verse 20 The Lord watches over all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. Matthew 5 verse 8 Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Psalm 25 verse 14 The Lord confides in those who fear him. He makes his covenant known to them. Psalm 146 verse 8 The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. James 4 verse 8 Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Philippians 4 verse 7 And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Matthew 5 verse 9 Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. John 14 verse 27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Isaiah 26 verse 3 You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 9 God is faithful who has called you into fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Psalm 119 verse 76 May your unfailing love be my comfort, according to your promise to your servant. Isaiah 40 verse 31 But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 10 Now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. John 16 verse 24 Until now you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive, and your joy will be complete. Isaiah 41 verse 10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 55 verse 1 Come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without cost. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 3 But the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30 Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all this through him who gives me strength.